Hello Virgos, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of December 14th to December 20th. This reading is for all of my Virgos out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of December 14th to December 20th. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back to the channel. If you find that this reading resonates with your situation, comment below. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel as well. Hit the notification bell if you haven't. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, you can email me at visionsoflightlove at gmail.com for a personal reading. Spirit, what is the overall energy for the sign of Virgo? What is the overall energy for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of December 14th through December 20th. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Spirit, why is it not, okay? The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight, okay? We have the Justice card in a reverse. Libra's energy is here. Some of you may have a Libra in your environment, Libra in your chart, or some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Okay, we have the Hierophant. Taurus energy is here. All right. Okay, Virgo, your cards are just coming out. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. <clears throat> the Two of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. Why is this Five of Wands here? The Ten of Pentacles. You have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Cancer energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. At this time, you may need to use your intuition about a wish fulfillment because someone may be off and on in and out of your life. There may be a secret, some uncertainty, and you may need to listen to your intuition pertaining to a wish fulfillment about a significant other that's in and out of your life. This situation may be unbalanced at this time or it was unbalanced in the past. Could be a marriage. Hierophant energy, Ace of Cups. You could be getting advice pertaining to starting a new beginning within a long-term relationship or a marriage. Something may have been illuminated to you pertaining to a new beginning. There's a decision on the table. Do you want this new beginning or don't you? This could be your energy. This could be your partner's energy. 
But with the two of pentacles, someone is juggling an idea and they're conflicted about it. Someone is juggling an idea of a new beginning and they are conflicted about it. They're conflicted because they know with this new beginning, it's going to bring instability financially and with a relationship. It's going to bring in some type of stability. And this person is uncertain if that's what they want at this time or if that's what the other person wants. Why is this? Okay. That's too many cards. Why is this nine of cups here? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Someone feels stuck. Feel like when they, if this, okay, so we have the wish fulfillment with the hanging man. Someone feels stuck in a situation with the wish fulfillment. Why is this tower moment here? And they feel like, let's see. Yeah, something is toxic. Capricorn's energy. Something can be toxic. We have Scorpio, Aries, and Capricorn and Pisces. <clears throat> I feel like someone is in a situation with a wish fulfillment. <clears throat> and they're trying to use their intuition, but they feel stuck in a toxic situation. And they know that if they move forward with this Knight of Wands, it's going to create a tower moment and some unbalance in this situation. This is a marriage. It needs to go through a transformation. Because someone wants a new beginning. Why is this Ace of Cups here for my Virgos? This is your energy, the Hermit. You want a new, new beginning, but you may have withdrawn your energy from this person. Because you're trying to get some insight with the High Priestess card coming out. Why is the High Priestess card here? <clears throat> you're trying to get insight. Gain insight and knowledge. Pertaining to who you want to give your energy to with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like there is more than one person involved in this situation. You're trying to get attention from someone with the Six of Wands. Well, they are. Someone's trying to get attention. We had two Sixes here, so something needs to be balanced out. King of Pentacles in a reverse. Could be a husband. Uh, maybe a husband is trying to get some type of attention. A husband or a wife. Someone is trying to get some attention, some stability, maintain balance in this union. Because they love their person. Someone loves this person. Gemini's energy. So why is the five of wands here? What is this confliction about? Why is this five of wands here? Someone needs to speak their truth, cut you to, to the chase, and express how they feel. Express how they feel in this situation. Because things are moving too slow right now. Things are moving very slow. Someone could have cut something out, cut something off. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? And someone just wants to move forward. So they, someone wants to move forward. Someone wants to move towards stability financially and within and within a home. And I feel like this other person isn't moving. So this that leaves someone left there to wait. 
thinking about abandoning a, an a pet, abandoning a pet, but they're waiting. Why is this eight of okay? Eight of cups. So they're waiting and manifesting. Gemini energy again. Because someone wants to walk away, but they're not. Because they feel like they can defeat and have victory in this situation. But they're anxious. They're up at night thinking about this situation. Because they feel blocked and restricted. Feel like they've been working hard on this situation and they're, they want to be rewarded, but they're not. Something needs to be illuminated in order for them to be happy. Yeah. So let's get some love oracle cards for you. See what the love your love oracle cards say. It's like one person. I I see two people on two two people here, but they're on different pages. That's what I see. One person is loving, trying to hold things together, and the other person, from what I see, is not even paying this other person any mind at all. I don't even see. I. I I see the person here, but I don't feel their energy. I feel one energy. And that's from the person that's trying to get the attention. Yeah, this is a, a marriage. Engagement ring. There's a there's a marriage here. Could be a karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving yourself. Yeah, this is a marriage. We have love calls and a reverse. Someone is not getting the love that they need in this union. Someone is not getting the love that they need in this union. Yep. two cards happiness happiness success and fame someone is searching for attention but they have to adapt to the situation overcome the obstacles that are in their way in order to come together and unite with their person look <laughs> the cards don't lie the cards do not lie Okay, so Virgos, this is your reading for the week of December 14th through the 20th. If the reading resonates with your situation, comment below. Share, like, and subscribe. If you haven't, hit the notification bell. Be safe out there. I'm sending you as well as your family love, light, peace, and healing energy. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful weekend and this upcoming week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.